Okay, so here we are entering the house. This is the living room. Here is the dining room. This is a kitchen with granite countertops. Looks like all new cabinetry, kitchen. This is the downstairs, we'll go there next. Here is bathroom number one, completely renovated, full bathroom, new tile. This is, looks like the master bedroom. It's a bit bigger than most houses in this neighborhood. They're just not that large. I'll give you an idea of geometry. It's about 10 by 14, maybe 12 by 14. These houses were old. They were made in the 1950s. Um, but this house has all new, uh, looks like they redid the floors. This is going to be bedroom number two. This over here is bedroom number three, and it's right off the uh, front door. We're going to head to the downstairs next. There's recessed lighting, new carpeting down here in the basement. It's very large and well done. There's also a separate entrance to the back of the house and the backyard, which you can see over here with a shed. It's a really nice basement. Here is going to be room number four. It's a very small room. Washer and dryer. This is your HVAC room. And over here is the other bathroom of the house. New tiles as well. Looks like a closet. So it's a very well, nice put together bedroom and we have one more bedroom over here. I'm going to walk you through this basement one more time now that I know which way we're going. So these are the stairs that we just came down through. This is the basement area. Bedroom number one, washer dryer, HVAC room, tile bathroom, other bedroom, other bedroom that makes five and back the stairs and that's it Okay, welcome to 2806 Hardy Avenue, Silver Spring. This house has four bedrooms, two and a half baths. It's a really uh, nice looking inside of the house. This is the front door. This is the living room as you walk in. It's very large. We're gonna head first to the right. Bedroom number one. Bathroom number one. Bedroom number two. Hard to tell if this is the master or not. Heading to the open kitchen. New appliances, granite countertops. Really nice deck in the backyard. We've had a lot of snow lately. Little gazebo back there. It's a very nice property. We're gonna head on upstairs. I think the downside of this house is that the upstairs, it's it's not an attic exactly, but it's kind of a smaller uh, second floor than you would expect. This is another bedroom. Bathroom number two.
And here is another bedroom as well. This could also be considered the master bedroom. We're going to head all the way downstairs to the basement. It's a very large basement. Looks like new carpeting. We'll start from this side. This looks like the HVAC room. Oh no, it's just a closet. Here is the washer dryer and a big HVAC room over here. Finally, there is one more mystery room. Looks like maybe the door to go out. That's it. Okay, here we are at the front door of 2414 Eccleston Street. Big living room with a fireplace. And we're going to start um, to the left over here. This would be the dining room area. That opens up into the kitchen. This is, I guess, the least fancy kitchen that we have to look at. Um, you know, granite countertops, older appliances, and the entrance to the basement which we will go to last. We're going to head to the bedrooms and then to the upstairs. So here is bedroom number one. It's a well-kept house. Walk-in closet. Finished bathroom, well done. Bedroom number two, closet space. We're gonna head on upstairs. This is a small, oh, maybe not so small. Upstairs bedroom with built-in uh, drawers into the wall and a closet. Following this around to the other side, this is probably the master bedroom, which is very large. Ceiling fan, window, walk-in closet, and master bathroom, which also goes through to the other side. So this is, interestingly, the biggest uh, bedroom of all the houses that we've seen so far. And now we're going to head over to the basement. I just got lost. So it's definitely a finished basement, but no carpeting. 
the old style floors from the 70s. HVAC room. Storage bedroom. It has a window, you call it a bedroom. And the lot laundry room. And another work room over here. And that's it.